This is what happens when regular people challenge NBA superstars. And starting off, we have Paul George who went back to his hometown to school some random people at the park. He managed to make one guy fall over. And he absolutely bodied a random woman. However, these guys obviously weren't the greatest basketball players, so what about when people with some basketball experience challenge players? Well, D Wade did just that, and this is what happened. Man, he came in with all that skill and still got blocked. But hey, Wade is an all-time legend, so how about we take it back to a player like Spencer Dinwiddie who decided to accept this random guy's challenge of a 1v1. Excuse me. 2-0. Oh, I'm there! Oh, I'm there! Give me that! You don't want it. You don't want it! Oh my goodness gracious. Next up, we have a clip of Raptors point guard Fred VanVleet playing five people at once. Well, kind of. You see these random kids came out to play Fred VanVleet, and he decided to show them no mercy. He even broke one girl's ankles and posted it to his Instagram. <laughs> Savage. Things got real serious though when a guy in a sneaker store challenged John Morant to play. Yeah, look at this dude, I've been in the gym. Oh yeah. I've been in the gym. Man, he destroyed him, and you know he had to hit the gritty on that man afterwards as well. If that's what Ja could do, just imagine what 7'3 NBA MVP Joe LMB could do in that situation. Well, believe it or not, there have actually been a couple of brave people call him out, and MB being the man he is, you know that he had to humble them. Not only did he humble them though, he went out of his way to straight embarrass them. Oh. 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 He made those guys look tiny. Believing that you could win against Embiid is crazy, but what about if people called out smaller players like Trey Young? Wouldn't that seem like an easier match? I mean, he's only six foot one. Well, one YouTuber decided to test this out, and let's just say it didn't go well for him. Not only did Young beat him, he also had to make him look like an idiot for trying. Not today! <laughs> Now, do you think that you could hold your own against the greatest scorer in the league at the time? Well, one YouTube group decided to put it to the test. However, they still got absolutely destroyed by James Harden. Playing against Harden is one thing, but playing against Shaquille O'Neal is another. This man is one of the biggest of all time. Even so, one man decided to give it a shot, and things didn't end up pretty for him. 
Even though the big diesel was retired, he still managed to show up for this game and destroy the guy even whilst walking. Okay. Rebound, baby. Oh. Nope. All right. All right. Oh, come on, no, 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 no. Man, it makes you wonder do NBA players ever lose to random people? Well Grant Williams decided to play some random little girl at his own camp, and he instantly regretted it. Imagine getting cooked at your own camp. I know he was scared when that shot went up because he was really trying. However, these are some of the greatest players from the league, so what if let's say, the worst player in the league played someone? How would that go? Well, back in the day, before Alex Caruso and Taco Fall, we had the original meme. Ryan Scalabrine, the White Mamba. This guy was a meme for being one of the worst players in the entire league, and one day, some regular dude spotted him hooping and decided to challenge him. Of course, the white mom by accepted, but the game wasn't even fair. Ryan managed to destroy these guys winning 11-0. Crazy, he finished off the game by saying, I'm closer to LeBron than you are to me. Ice cold. And it's true too, the worst NBA players work incredibly hard to make the league. Don't believe me? Well then let's do some maths. Only everyone in 17 or 6% of high school basketballers will play college basketball, and less than 1% of them will play Division I basketball. That is crazy low numbers, but it's even crazier to make the NBA because only 2% of those will ever play in the NBA. And even then, 22% of those players will end up getting cut from the NBA. Crazy. That means that only 0.018% of high school basketball players will ever play in the NBA. So yeah, NBA players are definitely better than the average guy. Anyways, make sure to like if you enjoyed, and subscribe to see more videos. Peace.